Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another video. My name is Tom Spark, and today we're talking about how to choose a VPN the easy way. But wait, Tom, why should we trust you? You're just some random guy on the internet, right? Wrong. I've reviewed almost every single VPN, and I've put a lot of VPNs on the tier list already. We're working through them all again, over and over and over and over with each new update that comes out, so these reviews are always up to date and always accurate. Unlike most other people on YouTube or other review sites, we don't rank VPNs by commissions and we don't accept sponsorships either. So if you guys like these reviews and you want to help support the channel, click on some of my affiliate links in the description and pinned comment as well. If you click on those links, it directly supports me. Ow! I don't need donations or anything like that like other YouTubers. Tom, are you creating a Patreon? No! Instead, we work together to find the best VPN so you guys get the best products, and I also can do reviews for a living. Anyways guys, let's get back to the video. Now choosing a VPN is actually a pretty hard thing. The VPN marketplace is very saturated, and most VPNs vary in quality quite significantly. Now in some ways, they all kind of do the same thing. You connect to a remote server. that. Um, you, the protocol, most likely being WireGuard nowadays, kind of encrypts your traffic and puts your internet through a secure tunnel, giving you a new anonymous shared IP address and encrypted internet traffic. This is going to give you general privacy and protection on the internet, preventing websites from logging your IP and stuff like that. It will also protect you from your internet service provider where they can't see your browsing history and stuff like that and sell it off to the highest bidder. But there are also other reasons to use a VPN as well and even reasons why you should pick a certain VPN over another one. Some of the common reasons for using a VPN include stuff like I mentioned, whether that be general privacy slash uh, anonymity, um, just for that, you know, hiding your IP and keeping your data to yourself more so. Maybe you trust a certain VPN more than your internet service provider, which is probably pretty common since VPNs, at least the good ones, promise not to sell your data, log your data, and they generally don't use your data for advertising purposes. Whereas most internet service providers, it's, a, it's like a benefit for them. You, you not only pay them for internet, but they also you get to use your data willy nilly and sell it off to the highest bidder. So for people who say, you know, you don't really need a VPN, well, you kind of do nowadays. But there are also other reasons too. You might pick a VPN to use while torrenting, downloading files on the internet. It's good to protect your IP there so you don't get um, emails or anything like that if you accidentally down something or depending on the region you are in the world it can be illegal to download certain things so keep that in mind but generally picking a vpn and hiding your ip while torrenting is admittedly a pretty common thing to that people use vpns for additionally you can also use vpn for streaming unblocking streaming services so maybe you're visiting a different country and you want to watch your favorite show that's only available in the us maybe you're in the us and you want to watch a anime on the netflix japan version some vpns allow you to bypass these restrictions and give you unique ability to uh, appear elsewhere with streaming services. So that's actually a pretty big niche as well. And in fact, I even have my own subreddit, reddit.com slash r slash Netflix via VPN, where people find tricks and stuff like that to access different shows on Netflix with a VPN. Another common reason for using a VPN could be bypassing restrictions overall with game betas or anything like that, which is locked to your IP. Certain websites are only available in certain countries, certain services, certain, some games and stuff like that can be bypass the restrictions in place on location by using vpn you could trick some of these services into thinking you're somewhere else you can even bypass bans on certain websites and stuff like that although it can get a little messy when websites are blocking vpns but some vpns do work still with certain services like omegle you could use stuff like dedicated ips and stuff like that to some effect it does kind of require more messing around with that though but outside of reasons to pick a VPN, there are also different considerations when picking a VPN based on you specifically. What kind of budget do you have? What kind of privacy values do you have? Do you need something to be open source or are you okay with it being more closed source but still secure? Do you need something to be more transparent and have a um, paid for a audit? Or are you okay with a VPN that doesn't have any history of giving away data and just hasn't really had the budget or time to do an audit? These are things that kind of depend on you and it can be uh, a little bit uh, subjective there. You can also think about flexibility. Do you need a VPN um, that has Chrome extensions, Firestick extensions, has um, different um, 
perfect apps on each operating system, something like Smart DNS, we could unblock streaming restrictions on consoles. These are things that are under what I would call the flexibility area of a VPN. Some VPNs might be open source and audited and a little bit more privacy friendly, but they might like lack the flexibility of something um, that you might be looking for. So these are things you need to consider and as you could see, it's starting to get a little confusing. Luckily, I have a lot of experience testing VPNs and I've almost tested every single VPN out there. Picking a VPN is never as simple as just saying this is the best VPN. The best VPN depends on what you are looking for and what reasons you need a VPN in the first place. That's why I made the VPN quiz. So with all that stuff in mind, how does the VPN quiz help you choose a VPN? So this is the website vpntierless.com where I put all my stuff for my YouTube channel. We're going to click on the VPN quiz. So like I said, this quiz will run you through some of the things that are really important to consider when choosing a VPN. And you can find it on vpntierless.com slash VPN dash quiz. I'll also put it in the description and pinned comment below. We're going to take the quiz here. So this is what I was talking about. What is your budget? Do you want to pay $5 a month or $30 a year? Do you have a slightly bigger budget for $10 a month or $60 a year? Or is money completely not an issue? Some of these things depend on the VPN it will end up being. So let's say you want to pick one of the cheapest VPNs. You therefore might sacrifice some things a more expensive VPN might get. Take for example TorGuard. TorGuard is one of the cheaper VPNs and you could pay less for it and arguably still get a really, really good product. It's one of the highest rated VPNs. That said, if you're willing to pay a little bit more, maybe money is not an issue. You might get matched with something like ProtonVPN. ProtonVPN is lacking some of the flexibility of TorGuard and the pricing affordability, but they do seem to be a bigger company, at least in terms of you know, being able to pay for a third party audit and also um, have open source applications. Um, the size of the company may mean it's targeted more than TorGuard. Um, so that's also something to think about too. Maybe TorGuard doesn't need as much of a third party audit. Maybe it's secure enough. They have their own in-house audits. It's never really had any issues with security. So these are things you need to think about. But for the purpose of the quiz, let's just do, let's say uh, money's not an issue for now. Now we could talk about specifically some of those flexibility of the privacy things and stuff like this. So guys, I'm not going to go through the whole quiz because I think you guys should take it yourself and see what VPN you get. If you decide to get that VPN, there'll be a button at the end of the quiz. If the quiz helped you, if I help you, click on that button and you'll be taken to the VPN website with my affiliate link. It'll help support the, cha it'll help support the channel really well. And I'll see you in the next video very soon. Let me know down in the comments down below which result you got. And I'll know you made it this far.